What is going on guys, it's Johnny from the Fresh Dang here, coming at you guys week 7 of our weekly upset prediction games in NCAA Football 14. Uh, last week, we were incorrect, again, but, um, you know, it was kind of competitive, it was a 14 point game, I know it was really just Wake Forest getting close to the end, but um, it wasn't a terrible prediction even though it was wrong. This week... We got Indiana versus Michigan. Now, Michigan is coming off a loss against MSU, a game they probably should have won. And I think going into this game, they'll be thinking about that loss more than this upcoming game against Indiana. I think they might, uh, you know, kind of sleep on Indiana. And Indiana's a pretty good team. I mean, they both had really good defenses. And Michigan's offense last week was just really bad. I mean, man, they, like, Five turnovers. So if they have another game like that, Indiana's got a real good chance to win this game. All right, but before we get into it, let me quickly bring you through some of the impact players you'll see in this game. For Indiana, they kind of have a, you know, questionable quarterback situation right now. Uh, the first couple weeks, they started Richard Legau, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and he, you know, wasn't very efficient. Only threw for four touchdowns and three interceptions. So then, uh, as of last week against Charleston Southern, uh, they started the quarterback Peyton Ramsey, and really, I haven't heard anything about who's going to start this Saturday, so I'm just assuming they're still playing Peyton Ramsey. I, I don't know. Um, it's kind of really up in the air. I guess we'll have to see. As for Michigan, uh, they also have kind of a you know interesting situation at quarterback. Wilton Spate is out. Um, it's not really disclosed why. I'm not sure if it's even an injury. They did play O'Corn, and he threw many interceptions against MSU, and that was a huge reason why they lost the game. They also have Rashawn Gary, as you can see, the 93 overall beast. Uh, but yeah, so in case you guys were wondering, this game will be played at Indiana. They're going to have home field advantage. It's going to be played at 11, you know, one of those earlier games. Indiana actually has a 37% chance to win this game, which actually doesn't surprise me. Uh, I think it very well could happen because, you know, I mean, Michigan, like I said, coming off a loss, and Indiana's kind of a sleeper team in the Big Ten. Simi Cobbs Jr., he is one of our impact players. This will definitely be a defensive game here, but, oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, good break tackle. That's Simi. Let's go. Curl cheese. Oh, good defense. I don't know if this is going to work. Kind of taking a risk here. All right, let's go. That's a first down by Peyton Ramsey. First down 10. Good cut. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's good block. Oh, yeah. This dude could go all the way. Touchdown. A really nice block in there. We're able to block at the second level. And then that dude made it happen outrunning the Michigan defense. I'm surprised we popped a big run against this Michigan defense. Michigan will likely try to run the ball a bit here. Good tackle. Also, they will run. Oh man, wow. Oh, the draw, the weak blitz, and we're gonna sniff that out. They run their fullback quite a bit. <laughs> nice catch for three. All right, I think we got him where we want him right now. Third and eight. Oh man. All right, we almost got the sack, but they're only gonna get one yard there. We're gonna try to get back to run that ball. Ah, no. What? How? He was definitely down. If they don't overturn... If they don't overturn this, bro. Thank you. Jeez, man. I mean, he didn't count that fumble. Whoa, that was a bad pass. Let's get it here. Good grab by the star receiver when we need it. semi cop. Man, 
Running game's not too shabby. I don't know. Frick, that was quick. That is a first down. This is some zone. Ah, oh, he doesn't have that kind of speed, bro. Um, other than that big run, not much is going either way. Just kind of a slow moving game. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Trying this read option again. Frick. It's been the fourth down life right now, but we're getting them. We've been living on the fourth downs right now. Touchdown! From nine yards out. Running back having a pretty good game right now. Very impressed. Looking for the run here. First down, ten. And he's just going to throw that one away. Come on. All right. Good tackle. Third down, 13. We got him where we want him again. Got all day, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... It's going to happen. That was embarrassing. <laughs> That whole play was just embarrassing, bro. <laughs> uh. right, that's a tough grab. I'm not even understanding my own play call. I should have ran there, but we're going to run here, the read option, and Ramsey's got room to work with. All right. Curl route or the screen right now? Looking for the screen? Nah. Michigan's playing pretty aggressive with their coverage right now. Ramsey's got some room to work with, man. I saw the man coverage. Damn. <laughs> Trying to get fancy on these dudes. Third down two. Right over the middle, man. It's, it's been slants all day. All right. Good stiff arm there. See if we can't get this running game going. Make, like, just... Oh! God! See what look they give me here. Man, all the zone, bro. Oh! First down! Good... Oh! Well, you know, he's walking it off. Good effort, though, by Westbrook. Man, we have been eating clock all game. And he's got the edge! Nice run, and we did not leave much time for Michigan, especially with their offense not being super explosive in the first place. That was huge. Don't give up anything. I think they're just running the ball. Good play, good play. And I think they're just going to take their L into the halftime, down 21-7. But they will get the ball back, guys, so it's not over yet. Stay tuned. Man, Michigan needs something on this drive. This is huge for their chances to stay alive in this game. I don't know what O'Corn was doing there, bro. That's some weird motion you got there. Uh-oh, O'Corn's trying to run, but this is huge. Third and 13, they need this to really stay alive. And that's not going to get the sticks, is it? No. Still trying to get this run game going. Oh, shit. Third and 11. Frick! He was open. Man, we give up too good a field position if we went for it on fourth and 18. So, the rare punt from me. As, I mean, their offense has not been that good anyways, minus one play. And right, now they, they still really need a stop here. Or, I mean, rather a score. Boom! This is a run, folks. Two tight ends, you ain't fooling nobody. Oh, but you did fool me with that <laughs> weak side run, though. Green, bro. Oh, it's a fumble. Oh, man. That was dumb. Second 13. Get there. Let's go. Oh! No, they just got the sticks. I thought I could sit back there. But O'Corn makes me pay. 
Nope. They're spending a lot of time on this drive. And they just don't really have that kind of explosive offense. Ooh. Third and three. They need to keep moving the chains. A field goal won't really do them too good, especially with all the time they spent here on this drive. They probably would still take it knowing the computer, but they'll get it. That caught me off guard. I'll give it to them. Another first down, and that's going to stop the clock momentarily. Man, what is Oh, Corn thinking today, trying to run. That's where we've gotten all our sacks and shit. Touchdown, Michigan. They needed it, but, like, it took a long time. <laughs> Man. Imagine they're going to blitz, so I'm going to throw that screen. Good tackle, though. Third down eight, man. The clutch receiver is just getting separation from the corners, man. Really impressive. Find him for the curl route. To oh. On the run game. Oh, man. Third and goal. Touchdown. Uh, That's the dagger. It's... Really, there's no chance now for Michigan. They they have, have to take their L. Indiana has pulled off the upset in our upset prediction game. Will it happen in real life? I believe it very well could. ESPN has even given them decent chances. Um, I think I think it might happen. You know, Michigan's gonna sleep on Indiana. I don't think Indiana's gonna run the ball like we did. But I do think it'll be kind of a defensive game, probably even lower scoring than 28 to 14. That Indiana receiver was so clutch, though. I mean, he's the MVP of the day. Really, just coming up in the clutch. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah.